First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. Swimsuit? Check. Sunscreen? Check. Phone charger? Check. Don't forget to pack the 5 Hour Energy. It fits great in a pocket or carry on, and the alert feeling will help you arrive ready for anything. Now get 20% off when you use code 5HE Travel at 5HourEnergy.com. Expires April 30th. One time use only, not valid with other discounts. Remember, visit 5HourEnergy.com and use code 5HE Travel to save 20%. Okay, Andrew, what am I doing here? Tell me. Uh, this help, me is help me, Andrew, please. Daryl, is, is your screen not up there? It is. Oh, it okay. is, but uh, I don't know the, all the information. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, you now have this printed. It printed. Yeah. I heard you screaming about stuff not printing. So there's a printer in this building that comes from my laptop to that printer. And to, to not have the ability to print directly from my laptop is very annoying. It is very unproductive, and I've asked for it to be fixed. Uh, it, it, th- that machine can make copies, okay, all right, but okay. it won't print out okay. stuff that I print. You need to relax. Uh, I told Andrew we need a pot expert, somebody who's a cannabis expert right now with everything going on. And is that who this is? Yes, it is. Hi, Daryl. Good morning. Daryl Courtney is in the hemp cannabis industry from Green Grow. You're the CEO of Green Grow Technologies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Uh what do you think Andrew needs? It sounds like he needs a little cannabis. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, my God. Driving me crazy here today. <laughs> uh, okay, Daryl, what do you think? It looks like Schumer is moving ahead, but Biden is not a pot guy. Is that what I we're hearing? Think, well, I think Biden may not be so much a pot guy, but I think he's in the game still. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, and, and, but Now, Schumer is, is ready to plow forward, of course, New York has now legalized uh, recreational marijuana. It's now legal to, I mean, some of this is going to roll out over days and days and months and months, but like the dis- the dispensaries. But uh, I guess you could smoke pot on a side corner, and as long as you could smoke a cigarette there, it's legal for you to do it in New York right now. Well, I would say that it's something that's been going on anyways. They've yeah, been smoking you're probably it. right. Yeah. And I think the fact that maybe it's legal now, that at least, at least they can actually track and trace it now. So um, let's just say the pot smoking is out in the open now versus in the subway. How about that? Do you feel that, um, that well, it's clearly, I mean, the taxes on, on once this is sold in dispensaries, the taxes are, what is it, like 14? So I think it's four, not 13%, 9 and 4. Yeah, 13% tax on this. Well, the taxes is a way to help stimulate the local economy. And so as a result, um, it's just like everywhere else. You go ahead and get a loaf of bread. you got to pay the, the baker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. The, yeah. The sure. on the counter. <laughs> you got to pay the grower. So everybody's getting their cut. What does Green Grow Technologies do? And are you coming to New York? Green Grow Technology is pretty much working throughout the United States at this point in time with different entities that are having um, – growing issues or are looking just to start growing in general. Our focus and purpose really is to really go in and look at um, the industry over as a whole and work with individuals to maximize their growth um, so that if they're um, having issues with their lighting system, we can help with that. Or if they're having issues with their soil, we can help with that. Or if they're looking for a buyer, um, Mm -hmm. one of our specialties is actually working with the international market to actually develop um, outlets to sell your products. And so we have the ability to kind of work in every aspect of the growing on up to the selling. It is a problem, and it's something we saw in uh, in Colorado, where I watched a documentary. They're, they're, I'm sure you know the documentary when they were just starting to sell it uh, recreationally in Colorado, and you saw this boatloads of money, huge sums of money, all in cash, but they couldn't put it in the bank because the feds, it's still illegal for the feds. And their fear was that if you put the money in the bank, the federal government seizes the money. Um, is that still the case? I, I do know that it's still illegal, but with Biden in, maybe there's not as much of a threat. But um, can can they use banks yet? Uh, if you're a dispensary, can you use a bank? No, 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 no. Um, it'd be like they were endorsing an illegal activity, right, right. Um, according to the Fed. And so right. they can't really put that money into the bank and, and, and federally insure it. 
So as a result, you've got guys with millions and millions of dollars underneath a bat mattress out in the backyard in cans. Mm. And so hopefully at some point when somebody will recognize that this is the ongoing and a growing industry, the banks will open up and start putting the money into their safe versus having someone driving around right, with right. Yeah. this money in the back of the car. You know, we've, see, we've seen this uh, discrepancy in New York before, um, and it was with gambling, uh, sports betting. So uh, the federal government recognizes sports betting as legal. New York State uh, sports betting was illegal, and, and technically it still is if you're the side corner bookie. But uh, so you'd have you would have a bookie paying federal taxes on money earned on sports betting, and on another day you'd have state police come in and ransack the place and uh, <laughs> and and take all the money. I, I say ransack because that's how the, the that's how confusing it is. It's legal for the feds, but not for the state. And then vice versa is where we are right now with marijuana. It is, man, we gotta we gotta. It's gotta be uniform, don't you think? Well, what's gotta happen really in order for them to uni, uni, make it uniform? They've got to start actually regulating a little bit more. Once okay. The regulations take place. I think it's gonna be better for the consumer as well as the grower. Because right now, you can pretty much grow undetected. And who only knows what you're putting into your product? Mm, By yeah. bringing it to the legalization, at least there'll be a way to test it and make sure that you're not consuming pesticides and some of the other things that really shouldn't be in um, the grow. Um, right. I think that's really what we're looking at as far as how we can make it a, a better product. Because we uh, do know people are smoking it. Where are you? Uh, where is your business located? We're actually out in Anaheim, California. Okay. So right. we've been growing it out here for a while, and we just legalized it here probably um, three, four years ago. So now we're going to the same thing as far as where does the money go? I know you can't walk in the bank with it. Right, so right. you've got the same issue as far as these yeah. guys are driving around with boatloads of cash. And this creates an issue. At the same time, how do you get your taxes if... These guys are it's legal, but they're driving right. around in the car, yeah. and so it's, you know it's making the black market thrive. I, I I don't understand how the state can run dispensaries and collect tax on it, yet the federal government doesn't recognize it as legal. How is that? How how? Well, it saves you if you're a state without a state income tax. <laughs> so what are you doing? You're going you're going to well in New York. Yeah, we have a lot of income tax. That. So so uh, how how do they do it in New York and California? How how can it be done? You got to pay your taxes in cash. Well, what is happening out in California specifically for the dispensaries? You now have a "quote unquote" czar who's appointed by the city, and that person individually goes around and they pretty much work with those independent dispensaries to make sure that they're tracking the seeds to sell first of all, and making sure if they're selling a pound, they're reporting a pound, not selling up an ounce, or excuse me, and the other way first selling a pound and reporting an ounce. And so these guys are driving them up, so get them out behind the counter and puts it out on the truck. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I wanted to ask you just one personal question, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. It's it's very early there right now. Uh, you seem calm and quiet. Is it because <laughs> is it because it's early, or have you already smoked this morning? <laughs> oh, I just got to smoking a doobie. No. <laughs> no. All right, cool. It's okay. real early out here right now, so it I'm just is, getting yeah. my mojo, just making my first cup of coffee. Understood. I just wanted to clarify it because... Uh, <laughs> is I, that I, marijuana-infused I'm, coffee? <laughs> I'm not the only one that's uh, that's wondering that right now. So. Can I ask something? <laughs> I, I, I thought this, and Andrew just blurted it out. I, I've heard so many, you know, that whether it's a pieces of chocolate, candy bars, uh, little pieces of hard cam, candy, gummy worms. I've seen and heard of all these things with, infused with THC on a... Is there coffee? Is there weed coffee out there in you know, California? Th- there's there's extract that you can put in your coffee. Okay, um, that's an extract that you can kind of put a little dab into it. Okay, but you know, out here there's everything from hot Fritos to no, I've heard that. Yeah. baked goods. Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> unbelievable type of product. Yeah. I have a friend that was that was flying back um, from California, and he um, he ate two of the gummy bears. And he said, "You know, I'm, you know, I, I'm a lot of anxiety right now. I'm just going to kind of calm down a little bit, and I'm going to eat two gummy bears." 
He has <laughs> no idea what happened after that. <laughs> Somehow he ended back in New York. I don't know how it happened. It's crazy. That's the funny thing about those gummy bears. You the never know. You, yeah, yeah. You, you're not taking a hit, so you don't know how much you're actually inhaling, but you have, yeah. you have to read the labels. Right. Okay. Like uh, like so it's uh, Green Grow Technologies and Daryl Courtney. Thanks for taking the time so early this morning. We appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All right. You do the same. Thanks.